California, stay away from here. Stay away from here now. Don't, don't, don't come in here. Whatever you hear, stay away. John Doe has the upper hand. What's in the box? Greetings, 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 everyone. Steve, Pierre Courts of Kindness. How are you doing today? Hopefully, your weaving's been happy. Okay, this is another edition of What's in the Box? Don't look at the box, man. What's in the box? Um, most of you see the introduction, you'll get the movie reference. Uh, I got two packages, actually. Today. This is one, and I got another one sitting over here. But, before we get to that, I figured, I, um, I'll throw this out there. Are you, I made a video, I think, about a week ago and put it up. I was sick for about two weeks, didn't do anything on Facebook, didn't make a lot of braces, didn't do anything on the channel. But I, I said, you know, I'm starting to feel better, I'm going to slowly get back up on the horse and, you know, start riding again. Well, I'll, I'll say this, I feel a lot better, I'm going to start making, you know, more videos, put more content and all that. So, with that said, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. Uh, these videos, for those who haven't ever watched any of the videos in this series, I usually order stuff every week, maybe every other week. You know, it just depends. Some days I get more, some days I get less or whatever. I usually try to film, you know, me opening the box and showing the items I get and, more importantly, the colors. Like I've said before, you can go on one of these Paracord suppliers' websites. And they'll show you a picture of what the cord looks like. Now, depending on the lighting and the camera angle, the day they took the picture of that cord, compared to the camera angle and lighting of when they took a picture of, just for example, another cord. Say you have, you know, black and imperial red. Or right, let's not go with black. Let's go with something more. You know, one of these patterns color uh multicolored patterns or whatever and it's got multi-colors in the cord itself and all that like i said depending on the lighting and the angle the day they took the picture of this cord compared to the day they took this picture the picture of this cord you're not always going to get a true representation of what that cord looks like does that make sense that's a great idea it, it's a it's a it's a general place to start but it's not always going to be Completely accurate. Hey, and there's nothing you can do. I'm not faulting anybody. I'm just stating a fact. Um, so what I like to do in this is, you know, I order new cord. I had ordered, I, I don't order as much cord as I used to, but I do order some new cords and talk about the cord and the color and what's in it and, and I'll show you on camera. And, you know, I don't have the best lighting, but I'll say this. My camera angle and my lighting is consistent between all these different videos, right? So, with that said, I figured I'd show you some stuff. But, before I go any further, i just show you some stuff I've been working on since I've been, you know, I, I, I got back up on my, my horse, so to speak. I'm going to just show you. I'm going to sit this off to the side. i got two packages today, actually. One of them, it's raining here where I live in uh, in the southern southern United States. It's raining. So, one of my packages has kind of got a little, a little dampness to it. But, that's okay. It's nothing in it. Put some cord, and you know, this company they always wrap their cord in plastic for the most part, so it'll be okay, not big, no big deal. But I figured I'd show you some of the stuff that I've made recently. Um, this one is a sidestep modified sidestep, actually, according to Cetus 550 Live Paracord book, I forget which one it's in, it's a sidestep variation too. That'd be black decay. And then mm, acid purple stitching. I've got a tutorial on how to make this weave on the channel. I'll leave it in the description below. Let's see. Here's another one in that same same weave, different color, black sunspot and goldenrod. Right? Like I said, same two weaves. I'll leave a tutorial for those in the link below. Let's see what else. Here's a modified turbine blades that I made. This would be uh, what is this? Gunmetal gray. And then the side piece with the color on it is Armor Slash Heavy Metal. That's what it was titled as. Here's a, uh, what is this? Solomon V-Bar in Midnight Blue. And this accent color is, it's called Stargate. It actually has, it's, it's just labeled as blue with like black and white kind of a spiral looking pattern down it. But it looks, you know, honestly, it looks colonial blue is what it looks like. Uh, here's another one in that same weave 
which is, but this one is stealth olive, and this right here, if you can see it, if you don't focus in, yeah, that's black, and depending on what website, it's either, it's either labeled as black and moss stripes, or black and olive stripes, because olive and moss, if you don't know this, they are very similar colors, but there's that one, here's, let's see, here's one, what is this, the scarab, or is it just scarab, either way, and that's done in black, and then that's black and an imperial red shockwave pattern. And I've had people, when they see this shockwave, black and imperial red shockwave, they've asked me, where'd you get that paracord you use where I've got that? Can't find it anywhere in the States here. All right. And here's one I made recently, the Lynx. Purplicious is the multicolored with purple. Regular old purple, not neon, not acid, not whatever, it's just purple. Right. And here's the two that I've made. These are the Lynx modified. Like I, like I showed you on this one. Uh, in the tutorial that I've got made, i got to get it uploaded. I'll, I'll get to that in just a second. This is uh, the Lynx, and it's got two colors. Purple is just the purple, right? The Lynx modified. There's tutorials for this on YouTube. But the Lynx modified, instead of having two colors, it's got three. And I know of no video tutorial on YouTube for this. Hence why I made one. I got it made. I just got to get it uploaded. Um, once I get it uploaded, I'll probably put, come back and put the description or put the link for it in the description below. Um, but this one is burnt orange, black, and lava flow. And you see how it's got the three colors, right? Just let you see back of it. Back of it kind of looks interesting also, but that's the front of it. Now here's the one that I made in the tutorial. This one is Colonial Blue, Midnight Blue, and what is this? Midnight Blue and Baby Blue Shockwave Pattern. We can get that to focus. And that one right there, that one turned out good. You know. I'm going to have to reach around and pat my myself on the back for that one. That one, those colors I think look really good. I've gotten a lot of compliments so far. I finished it this morning and posted it in some social media sites here and there and it's gotten a lot of good, you know, positive responses. So, you know, but yeah, I, uh, like I said, I got the tutorial for this one made. I just haven't got it uploaded yet. I'm most likely going to get that done sometime today. If not, it'll be tomorrow sometime. Right. Okay. Those are those. All right. Just figured I'd throw that out there. Um, okay. With all that said, let's get to this package. Let's see what I got. I don't have a lot this week. Um, I, I ordered for Paracord EU. Um, I try to order here. I, I'll just open this and I'll show you, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's, let's just get this open. I didn't cut it all the way. Ain't much in this package. Paracord EU. There's a little invoice right there. And they always put like some sort of flyer. They're advertising their son. Okay, what I got from them, I didn't get very much. I, I got a couple of buckles. I needed, I wanted to, before I got too low, I wanted some more buckles. These are these. A lot of people ask me, they say, where do you get your buckles from? These are 15 millimeter black metal safe buckles. I just label them on my posts as tactical buckles. You can get these from a couple of different places here in America. Um, you can also get them off of Amazon. Now, I'll be honest. The quality of the ones that I've gotten off of Amazon has been hit or miss. I stopped ordering them. And I finally found that Paracord EU has them. Now, granted, you're going to pay the shipping to get it from the Netherlands in Northern Europe to the United States. But... If you get it, you know, if you order, it's, if you order enough of them, the price per buckle goes down slightly. You know what I'm saying? You buy in bulk, they're cheaper per buckle, right? So I usually try to buy 10, 15, 20 of these at a time, and it kind of compensates for the cost of the shipping. Now, I'll go ahead and be honest with you. This right here, this, this box right here, I got, I don't know, 10 or 
15 of these, and then about 10 of the, these are the same thing, same style, same size, everything like that. They're just called brushed, or actually on the side, it's brush brass. I've ordered some of the antique brass ones. Yeah, I, mm, mm. But the brush brass ones, good to go. And the black ones. But I usually order enough of these, and it gets the price. It kind of compensates for the shipping. So like I said, man, I, I'll be honest with you. I'll tell you, shipping run you in between $20, $21. And I usually pay, it's usually a dollar extra for the UP, and they ship it to the United States, UPS, brown truck, right? Okay. <coughs> and you can get standard or express. And I always just pay like the dollar extra to get the express. Like this, I'll tell you, what's today? Today's Thursday. I ordered these Monday. I ordered them Monday. They packaged them, had them in the box <coughs> Tuesday. They handed it off to UPS Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday, Thursday. So, you know, yeah, I paid $20 for it, but I got it in you know, three or four days. So it's pretty quick, right? No big deal. But this is the cord I get. And the thing I like about Paracord EU, I'll say this, man. I store my cord. I, I, I haven't done this. I, be, I keep saying I'm going to make a video to just kind of show show everybody my shop. Um, But I haven't done it yet. I've got, I, I, my shop's down here in the basement. Raw concrete floor and all that. And you can see the floor joists above my head. Well, I come through with some, you know, little fur strips and all this kind of stuff with dowels and hanging down. And I've got it set up to where I just hang my cord up on these spools from the ceiling. All right? So you walk through there, all these little, the cord, loose ends of the cord are hanging down. It almost looks like you walk through the jungle. All the vines hanging down. And I tell people all the time, they walk in, I say, welcome to the jungle. <laughs> but, uh, some of them, like some of the cord I buy here from America, where they don't spool it, and you get a hundred feet of it, I buy my own spools and I spool it up by hand and put it up. And that's one of the things I like about Paracord EU. If you buy thirty meters, which comes out to what ninety eight feet, I think. Let me see. I, I did the calculations. Thirty meters is ninety eight point four two feet. Basically, it's, just, it's the equivalent of you buy a hundred feet from some American company. You get a hundred foot hank. That you got to spool up and do whatever you want, you know, have you store it. But for Paracord EU, most of their stuff, you buy by the meter. And if you buy 30 meters or more, they give you, they put it on a spool for you. And that's tight. It's on their tight. You know, and then they sell, you know, bigger spools. You can get like, well, what are they, 100, 100 meter spool, which comes out to, I want to say that's, yeah, that's the equivalent of 300 foot, I guess, somewhere give or take, whatever. But, yeah. But this one right here, this color right here is, what is this one? This is Undead. That's what it's called. It's very similar to Zombie. That was a popular color. A lot of people know Zombie's like neon green, purple, and black. It's the same thing. It's just, this has got more black than the other one. The other one is more, Zombie is more neon green and purple with a little bit of black. This is mostly black. And this is one of these accent colors that I like. That can be used like I like I showed on these bracelets over here, like this one right here. You see what I'm saying? You can use it as this accent color, and it it, it looks really well. This one, let's say this one right here. I, this one, this this accent cord is called Decay, and it 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 doesn't have any purple. It's just black and neon green with a little bit of yellow in there. I come back and put the purple stitching, right? Because we all know that green and purple, what are they, contrary or co contrasting, complementary colors? Is that the word I'm looking for? Color theory. But they look good together. But this one, I got this one because it's all, the color's all in one, right? Okay, well, there's that. Now, like I say, let's see, the other one. Okay, this is the one that's kind of wet, so, you know, let's, let's go ahead and try to get this out. And I did, I, I literally just pulled this out of the mailbox. I said, I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the mailbox. That way I can film this opening of it and all this kind of stuff. Here, I'm trying to do this. Because I knew it was wet and I wanted to get it out of this wet package. So I'm going to just go ahead and open this up. I don't care, it's got a little moisture on it. So we're going to get all that out. Ooh, I just cut my, my invoice. That's okay. This is from Paracord Galaxy. It's one of my fa this is my go-to company here in the States. A lot of people like them. Some people use other places. 
I like I like Paracord uh Paracord Galaxy. They they got good prices. Your shipping costs if you sat down and you know and you compare how much you pay per hundred feet of cord and in relation to the shipping you cost you pay. Compare that with other companies. You'll find if you do the math, you'll find out that if you order at least two, three hanks at one time, it's cheaper from this place than it is from I ain't gonna mention any names from other companies that people seem to like to use so much. But all I got here today, this one is called what's this one called? It's another one of these accent looking colors. What is this? Black? And it's got a little bit of red, white. Looks like it might have a little pink in there. Hang on. Let me pull this up and see what the description says. Actually, the description doesn't say anything. Sometimes their website will give you a description of what colors are in it. But, unfortunately, it doesn't for this one. So, I'm going to hold this up here just so you can see. But it's black. It's got a little bit of red and white. Looks like it's got a little bit of pink in there, too. Like I say, I'm going to keep it in this plastic package until I get ready to actually physically put this on a spool and hang it up. I'm going to leave it in there. That keeps it, you know, a little bit of protection right there. But I like blacks and red. You know, I like blacks and red. I figured this would be a good accent color for, you know, this style bracelet. Okay, now this one... This one is called, what is this one? Olive Drab. I forget exactly what this one's called. Hang on, let me look. This one is Camo. Olive Drab with Black Flex. And it's basically, it just looks like Olive Drab cord with a little black spiral dot pattern around it. Let me pull my camera back up so I can see what the camera's going to film. Maybe you can see this. You see the little black flecks that spiral around the cord? They're not a whole bunch. It's, it's basically the majority of that cord is olive drab. And I like the blacks and the olive drabs and stuff like that. So, you know, I got that when I figured out I had that in the, into, a, into the arsenal over there or whatever. Okay, now this one right here. This is one of the colors I use most often. Now, this is from, it came from Paracord Galaxy, but it's ultimately from Atwood Road. Therefore, it's going to be polyester. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I have no problem with polyester or nylon. I'm just letting you know. If you order from Atwood, it, your product is going to be polyester. I don't care if it's micro cord, 550 waste polyester. That's the soul. Everything they make is polyester. But this is what's known as, it's hard to see on this camera, it's known as Stealth Olive. Right? It almost looks black. I know when I first ordered this, first time I ordered this and I looked at it, I was like, well, that's black. No, actually, it's green. It's an olive color. It falls into that olive spectrum. Let's see if I can explain it to you like this. You have regular olive. I need olive drab. Just a little bit darker. All right. The difference between olive and olive drab is basically the same difference between olive drab and stealth olive. You see what I'm saying? It's just that much darker. It's just a really, really dark green. This is the darkest green that I have been able to find. Right? And I ordered this because I'm almost out on my hundred, my, my spool over there. It's almost out of stealth olive. So I went ahead and ordered this because I knew I'd get this in two or three days. <coughs> but I went on the Atwood site, and you can order from them. See, for whatever reason, I can't go to Paracord Galaxy and order a 300, 500 foot, 1,000 foot, whatever spool of this from Paracord Galaxy. Now, there are some of these polyester cords that, you know, because that you get, that you can order them that way, but not this one. So, what I did is I went to Atwood, straight to their website, and I looked, and I ordered me a 300-foot spool of this olive drab, or this stealth olive. But the thing is, on their website, it tells you, it tells you it may take up to two weeks for them to ship that to you.
Now, why, I don't know. I assume it probably has to do with the fact that they manufacture that stuff. So if they don't have any spools sitting around just ready to throw in a box and ship to you, what they'll do is they'll wait until they crank their machines back up to actually make, you know, however much of this they have to make at one time to make it cost effective. I'm sure they spit out thousand. 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 feet at one time. If they're going to crank that machine up to make it, they're going to crank it up and make a whole bunch. Do you see what I'm saying? So if they don't have a 300-foot spool that I order sitting there on hand, they just wait until they have to crank their machine up. And when they do, they take it into account and they spool one up right then and there. I'm sure they they, they probably, I don't know, I, let's just, I, I'm making it up. They crank that machine up, now they'll, they'll spit out 10,000 feet of cord. And now, 300 feet spool, 300 foot spool, 300 foot, 1,000 foot spool, 1,000 foot, 500 foot, you know, now, they'll make X number of those to have on hand, and then they make a bunch of 100 foot hanks. Do you see what I'm saying? And they have it on hand. So when somebody orders something, if they've got that 300 foot spool that I ordered, bam, they just put it in the box and send it right to me. But if they don't, they have to wait till they crank that machine back up. That's the way I see it. I may be wrong. I don't know. Do you know? I know there's some people who know a lot more about the actual manufacturing process of this cord than I do. So, hey, leave a comment below. But, yeah, Stealth Olive, very dark on the olive spectrum. Darkest green I have found. Love this color. Love this color. Use it quite often. Um, like I said, this one right here is Stealth Olive and the black and moss or black and olive, whatever, striped piece. I think i got another one over here in it. Uh, let's see. No, that's the only one I've got right off of hand. But there you go. That's what's in the box, man. I got some cords in the box. But uh I'll That's the only thing I got in on order right now, except, you know, obviously a three hundred foot spool of this and that's the only thing I ordered from them was that three hundred foot spool. And I should get that maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, don't know. But appreciate you watching. Thanks for tuning in, and, you know, give us a like, give us a share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out the other videos. Like I said, I'll put a link to, what is this? This is a stitched sidestep, modified, or whatever. I'll put the link to this one in the description below, the tutorial. And once I get this one made, I got the video made, just got to get it uploaded. Once I get it uploaded and get a link, I'll come back and put it in the description below. But, you know, check it out. Got the description uh, link to the playlist for the core screen setup, tips, tricks, playlists, and all that kind of stuff in the description below. But, with that, I appreciate you watching, and as always, keep it clean, or keep it neat, keep it clean, keep it tight. Happy weaving, folks.